Hi, in this video we will talk about how to place images in ggplot and to do that we would need the ggplot ggpubber library jpeg and library png so jpeg is used for placing jpeg images and png is used for placing the png images uh, so with those four packages loaded let's define a path where my images are sitting so this is the path on my computer where my images are sitting so let me have those three images so i've actually called three images and i'm putting them in three variables phone tablet and computer so if i run it so if I look at these three variables, you can see that they point to the fully qualified name for the images on my computer. Now let me create a simple vector of three variables. So this is the devices for a, for a website or for an online company. And then these are the orders which have come through different channels. So 100 orders have come through the phone. And there's 150 orders which have come through people who have been placing the orders using a tablet. And then there are 130 orders which came from people who use the website from a computer. With that, I'll also create a third vector, which will be the image or the images which we want to use. So for phone, we are using the phone image. And for tablet, we want to obviously use the tablet image. And for the computer, we want to use the computer image, which we created up in these three. So if I run this, so you have device, and then you have the image, and then you have the number of orders. So let me combine it into a data frame so that we can look at it in a better way. So this is my data frame. And I would also need to change the names. So if I look at my uh, data frame, I can see that it has three columns and three rows. So the first column is the device, and the second column is the orders, and the third one is actually pointing to the image. So for each image, um, for, for each device, we want to use that image. So with that, we are ready to plot our data. So this is how we would plot. So we are saying to ggplot that our data is coming from the data frame df. And on the x-axis, we want to plot the device. Device is the actual phone, tablet, computer. And then y is the number of orders, which have come from different channels. And then the image would come from the image variable uh, or the image column in, in our df, so which is basically the, the fully qualified names of each image. So with that, I want to do a point, jump point. And the next thing would be to tell the computer that we want to have the images as well. So image, jump image, and the size of that would be this is an arbitrary number. You, you might have to adjust it yourself for different sizes of the images, whatever works best for you. And then I'm changing it to theme classic. Uh, with that, let, let's go and plot this and see what happens. And then we can refine it a bit further after that. So with, with my DF ready, Yep, we have got a simple image or, or a plot where we have three different images which have been put. So computer orders have been around 130, phone orders have been around 100, and then the tablet orders have been around 150. Um, so depending upon this, uh, depending upon the size of your image, you can adjust it a bit up or down. So whatever works best for you. So this way you can adjust the sizing as well. 
So with that, we come to the end of this video. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.